The Gibbous Moon Phase, Finding Our Way Through the Dark by Demetra George. The Gibbous Moon Phase, the moon is 135 to 180 degrees ahead of the sun. Keywords are evaluate, analyze, and perfect. At the Gibbous Phase, the moon is rapidly distancing herself from the sun and approaching her fullness at the full moon opposition point of the cycle. Mirroring the moon's increasing light, the evolving soul consciousness is becoming more aware of the separate self with a specific purpose to accomplish. Like the stage of that swollen bud at the plant cycle, there's this expectation of anxious expectation that awaits the opening of the flower. As one is poised on the brink of the revelation, the keynote of the gibbous moon phase is to improve and perfect the structures that were built during the first quarter phase as worthy vehicles in which they can express their life purpose. The 135 degree semi-square aspect opens this gibbous phase, and there is yet another confrontation of the counter forces related to those that we experience in the 45 degree semi-square of the crescent phase. Gibbous people are experiencing a shock when they realize that it is actually being asked of them and all that that entails. They are confronted with a wall of resistance in the form of the physical world and the reality of the environmental factors that need to be acknowledged and taken into account if they are to accomplish their goal. They are challenged to use this discordant, forceful energy of the 135 degree aspect into a controlled and focused way to push through the resistance and overcome all obstacles that are slowing down the substantial growth that needs to incur during this phase of the cyclical process. In the first quarter phase, the life purpose was anchored and established through the form building activity. And now during the gibbous phase lifetime, people must live with their decisions made and the structures built in the previous phase. However, the leap into gibbous consciousness is the awareness that can still be improved upon their structures. Symbolized by the 150 degree quincunx aspect between the moon and the sun midway through the gibbous phase, there is kind of a dissatisfaction that runs through many gibbous people. They often perceive themselves and their life structures as falling short of their visions of perfection. However, the power of the gibbous phase people lies in the capacity to continually adjust and refine these structures, but they must develop the qualities of perseverance and flexibility in order to proceed. In this lifetime, gibbous people are being tested in their commitment to their goal. Are they serious enough to preserve, to persevere into the process of improving the forms which will facilitate the expression of the soul's purpose? And are they flexible enough to be able to adjust these forms to fit into everyday reality so they can truly be useful and effective for society? The gibbous dissatisfaction and drive for perfection of outer structures also manifests as the drive of inner self-improvement. This is what leads gibbous people to continually, continually, continually analyze themselves as well as others and everything in their environment. They are trying to understand themselves in order to better way of operating and a better technique for doing things. They feel the urge to hone down into the essentials and eliminate whatever is superfluous, non-functional in their lives. Steeped in the anal analysis of questioning. Their minds are sharp and keen. They are always asking the difficult questions of how of how and why things operate as they do, and what would happen if another method was used. They are in their best when they question the process of any operation, evaluate, analyze, adjust, refine, perfect, and then c- contribute new working patterns for more efficient functioning whether it be in the inner or outer level. They can become obsessed with the details and need to remember that not everyone else or even should have the same need for perfection. The gibbous desire is to become a skillful artisan technician as possible in their chosen field of vocation or expression. For this, many gibbous people go through the periods of apprenticeship and training in order to master the skills, techniques, and methods that will enable them to contribute perfected forms that are of value to the society or group. 
The light becomes dominant during this phase, and the gibbous phase people are involved in making transition from the subjective to the objective awareness. There is now enough light for them to both sense and see that they are dealing with something larger than their own personal selfhood. They are developed the ability to link ideas of concepts which open the possibility of illumination. Their instinctual senses are a state of heightened expectation expectancy on the brink of clarity that the why of what they are doing will soon be revealed.